Secret Tunnel! Okie dokie, part six of the shh secret tunnel. So yes, I am digging a tunnel from my shed here along to my house, which is just over there, and eventually into the bunker, which is at the bottom of my garden. Now in the last video, we got to about this little blue line here, but we worked out how we could push holes up to the surface for ventilation and pouring the concrete down. Now in this video, I wanna come all the way along here, and then we need to work out when we're gonna turn left to come under the house and up into the pantry. That's where it's connected to, in my wonderful cupboard of luxury items. <laughs> so before we do this, we need to put another hole up, which I think we're gonna use to kind of coordinate where we are exactly in the yard, map it all out, plan it all out, so we can do it, come up in the right place, it'll all be good. Now, this video is sponsored by Free Trade. more about them at the appropriate time in the video, but for now, let's go do a little bit more chimbling. <laughs> I had a lady, didn't have to look too far, because I was thirsty. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's a bit of my house. <laughs> that's nearly the bottom of the bloody concrete. But it ain't no secret, and I could tell, that she knew her distance from her uh, hammer's tail. She ain't no oil painting, and that was plain to see, but she could pull a pint, and that was good enough for me. Got our ceiling supported. Now we need to find out exactly where we are before we start turning left to go into the house. We need to know when we need to turn left and also we need to know the center of that piece of tunnel. So when we come up under the house, it is up in the right place and you end up going down, you know, to the center of the, uh, of the tunnel and not all wonky and all that sort of stuff. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop a bit of box section down, clamp another bit of box section to the side of it down here and the side of it at the top so it mirrors the straight line. So if we lay it in a straight line down here, it should be in a straight line up there and then we can see exactly where we are and where we're going and how far across, up and down, whatever we need to be. That's how we're doing it. Pole as a reference, we've marked out exactly where we need to be. That is the edge of our floorboards downstairs, so we can take all our measurements from that and know that we're going in roughly the right direction. It's good enough, it's good enough, and good enough, it's good enough, well, it's near enough, it's near enough. Right, we know where we are now. We've got it all marked up. We can see where we're going. We just need to dig a little bit. <laughs> Not in these clothes. <laughs> now we just noticed one of the bucket handles is about to snap. But they're all done really well because these are the original ones from when we first started digging it. Okay, so we're gonna stick a beam down here and then that is the edge of this part and then it needs to start going that way. Before we do that, we have gotta dig a lot more further in that direction. But of course, if we carry on at that height, when we go to go that way, that'll be too low. So we're gonna to go up a bit and then across to support this part of the ceiling. If that doesn't make any sense, I will do it and then you can look at it and go, oh, that's what he meant. 
Does it make sense now? It's got to go up, across, and then there'll be a curve over there. No? Oh well, just, just keep watching. Five or six minutes, it'll all make sense. Hope it's gonna pave the world. Oh, you got a lot of tidying up to do here, Furs. You got a lot of tidying up. Ever a project that deserves a subscription or a like? It's this one. How many YouTubers do this? Chisel's nearly snapped. There we are. It just fell over, couldn't stop it. I think we just have to leave it on the floor because that's the biggest singular rock we've had out of this thing. There we are. I fixed the uh, the pin on the end of the thing, straightened it up with a hydraulic press again. Ah, oh, tunnel in. <laughs> You'll stay in there. So after struggling with the weight of that rock, I've been kind of thinking like, how much weight are we taking out? So I'm going to weigh a bucket. Forty-eight kilo. So that means, based on the average that we do a day, we take between three and three and a half ton out of rubble. That is that is crazy. Okay, it's all dug. It's all supported. Next up, we're going to drill another two holes, or another hole, definitely, up to the surface. We've obviously got the one here in the far corner. That will fill all that side up with concrete, so it all moves forward very nice. We won't have any air pockets or anything. I want another one here, basically, to go up there to kind of make sure that this corner definitely gets everything. Now, the only thing we need to worry about is on the back of my garage, there used to be an outside toilet, which I took down. So there is a sewer pipe and the mains water pipe running under there. So we just want to come this side of that so we don't end up puncturing that. And then over here at some point, we've got the gas main to worry about, but that's for another day. So let's put another hole up at least. And then we've basically got to build all this tunnel bit steel, get it all steeled up, get it concrete up and safe. And then we can start going towards the house. I just like, I like standing back here and doing this shot because it just looks, especially with the fish eye lens, it just looks wicked. I guess we're gonna be about somewhere there. <laughs> Hole number two. Right, let's get some steel in here. Oh, this is a lovely boy. Okay, it's got the floor plates down. Next up, we're gonna drop a bar down our new hole, get it all angled up with where it needs to go towards the house so we can get a center of this bit going off here. Cause it's not only going off at a funny angle, cause it's not at right angles at this, it's right angles to the house, which is a slight, a slight scunt to this, so we need to get the dead centre, so we know how far to bring that wall, where this one needs to stop and cut round, and all, all, all that technical stuff that if we get wrong, we'll end up coming up in the pantry a bit wonky. And that's no good. <laughs> Right, got it all marked out. So basically, there's some lines you can't see, obviously, on this camera. So we've got our angle. It's at a, it goes off at a seven degree angle or an 83 degree, whichever way you look at it. Um, I was gonna do the end of this bit of tunnel at right angles and then go off at an angle, but I think that's gonna make the roof and there's gonna be too many wiggly bits. So come off, seven degree, 80, up there somewhere. 
And if we get it wrong and end up in the middle of the kitchen, you can rewind to this part of the video and say that that was when the mistake was made. Righty ho, wall up. Next bit is this end wall. Now, I'm gonna stick a little recessed window, a little bit like I did with the pump down the other end. So I've been on the laser cutter, laser cut myself a profile of which I can plasma cut round. So I've just gotta work out exactly where it is and shove it in. Because we just had so much space, basically. The wall's gonna go here, there's like another 500 mil. And I thought, rather than just filling that all up with concrete, let's make use of it. Yes. Oh, it's not just gonna be a tunnel, you know, it's gonna be a utility tunnel. Like a little seat, look. <laughs> Ideal for sitting here in my new first branded shirt. Oh, considering the dates and the 2022 calendar. Yeah. Or having a drink from my first drinks bottle. Right, let's got these up. Now the other wall which I've put up, there's quite a lot of space behind it still. And rather than doing this again, I decided to put a little game in of Plinky Plonk. Basically, series of pipes welded up, fit to the back, put a ball in the top. Which one's it gonna come out? Ooh. Right, it's got the old plinky plonk in. Next thing you need to work out, you need to do this funny roof junction-y thing in. I'm gonna whack it up, stick a laser level line across, draw it, take it away, cut it, put the other bit across, laser, mark it, cut it, hopefully put them back on and they'll meet up. This is the other side of the bit we cut off. Right, that's got ourselves a corner. Quite impressed with that. It's done, all, done it all right, I think. Now then, we've got a load of mesh, which kind of makes like a boundary for the concrete. So when we pour it down, it doesn't all just bellow out the side, which of course is slightly trickier now because we're on like a funny, we're on a corner basically, not just a flat end. So right, let's get some concrete down and then we've just got to finish the floor off and then that's that bit kind of done. And then before we start digging that way, I have another little idea. It's running! So to help with getting the concrete along, I've made this little rubber thing at the end and we can... Helps it go along, because a lot of you did suggest we should have had a vibrator last time. <laughs> yeah, giggity. Uh, and we didn't, but we've got one now. Well, the chop in there. Okay, concrete's going off, boom, nice and solid. So this is my thinking. This tunnel is now quite long and all the digging we do here, we're gonna load the buckets up. We've now got to drag them all the way along down there to winch them out. And that's quite a long distance now. So I'm thinking, we need to make a mine cart system. OK, 
Okay, we have a minecart. It's got a little light, make it look a bit more minecart-esque. Now, it's only got two sides because we don't want to be lifting the tubs over the top of this. That's harder work. And I was going to make like a fake side that you could just slot in. But I thought, I'm just wasting my blooming time here because it's never going to be on. So, basically, got some rails which have been knocking up down there. Two bits of 20 mil box section with just some bits of flat to uh, hold them at the right distance. Uh, we're not going to screw them to the floor. I mean, we're just going to lay it on because we might want to move this. Right. Let's go and give it a test. We've got a minecart! Right, I like you, so we need to test you out, flip you around, do a bit of digging, see if you are actually going to help us. But, ooh, before that, the predictable, I've got a little signs on it now! So then, should you all subscribe to the Colin Furs YouTube channel? This works so well. You can even do it at night with a light on the front. <laughs> it definitely feels more grey escape. Now we've got this. <laughs> okay, mine carts, they get thumbs up. You can see why they had them in mines now. Obviously, done a bit more digging. We've had a bit of a measure up. I'd say we're about a foot, 30 centimetres away from the line of the house. So very soon, we're potentially gonna reveal the house foundations, depending on how deep they go, of course. Now, next tunnel video, we are connecting this thing to the house, hopefully, but it's not gonna stop there. We've got the bunker to connect to in the back garden, and also I'm thinking about doing something in this direction as well, towards the front of the house. Hmm. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe, support the channel, like, share, do all of that. Buy some merch, download the free trade up. It's up to you. As long as we're all happy, it's all good. Right, see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.